Hey Super Coders! We're going to continue on from our talk during the last video. You can add new elements to ArrayList by using the following format. In this case, the name of the list is Countries, and the items we'll add are all strings. You can see in our code that we've added seven countries to the list. Now let's add an item to the list at a specific spot. Suppose we want Scotland to go after Ireland, but before Australia. That would make Scotland the fourth item in the list. But since our list is indexed at zero, we want to add Scotland at index three. You can do this by adding the index as a parameter to the add function as in this. What if we lose track of how many items are in our list? It's easy to find out by printing countries.size or storing it in an integer variable. See if you can find out for yourself how many items are in our list by using the size function. We can also remove items from the array list either by typing in the item itself or by typing in the index of the item to remove. To remove Scotland, we could type countries.remove3 since it is at index 3. To remove India, we could type countries.remove India, which works no matter what index it's at. If we had two copies with the India country on our list and we ran countries.remove India, only the first copy in the list would be removed. Suppose we want to print the name of the country at a specific index. Let's say we want to know the name of the country at index 2. Running the code countries.get2 will give us our answer. Next video, you'll learn more about this. Bye, Super Coders!